Hello everyone and welcome to part 40 on Snow Runner. So today we're going to be exploring a new map in Russia and this one is called Zimnogorosk. I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong but hopefully I'm actually sort of saying it in the, in the, in the right way. But yeah, anyways guys, we're just gonna go ahead and start the engine like always and drive up to this uh, little, yeah, this little place over here. And of, and of course, we're gonna be traveling to a new map or location. So here we go. And we are here. A beautiful, beautiful new location. New adventures, new possibilities. Anything could happen. <laughs> So, here we are. Uh, we're gonna be checking out the map first. Uh, I mean, we can't really check out anything. But, uh, by the looks of it, there's only three watchtowers, which is actually really good. So, we have a watchtower, which is, like, right over here. That's really close. So, let's go ahead and drive up to the first one, which we have to go ahead and back up a little bit. So, uh, so far, my first, first impressions are that this map is incredibly tiny. Which I, which I really like, of course. So this means, I think that today we're gonna be discovering uh, all of the watchtowers, which is a good thing, which is a uh, perfect. But uh, if our truck is gonna get stuck over here, that's not a good thing because we're going pretty slow here in this muddy place. Yeah, I don't really like this, to be honest. Like this is like the, this is like the mud that I'm trying to avoid with this uh, vehicle, because. It's just incredibly difficult to get around. I mean, it, it can get around, but the problem is it just takes a while. So let's go ahead and put it in low range. I think. I mean, if we put it in low range, that's gonna save us tons of fuel. If you guys didn't know about that, if you put your vehicle in low range and go to mud, it saves you tons, like a bunch of fuel, basically. So I, I mean, if you leave it in automatic mode, then you're definitely gonna lose a lot of fuel from that. But okay, let's put it back to normal, I guess. Because we're sort of on dry land. And here we go. Our first tower. Which is a uh, good beginning, of course. Very close to us. Here it is. So, we got a bunch of... Wow, okay. We have unlocked a bunch of new tasks. Which is perfect. And, okay. So, let's see what do we have here. Oh! Okay. So, this looks like a truck recovery thing? Document documentary film. Okay. Uh, so we have a couple. Wow, we have a bunch of upgrade parts. Uh, we couldn't. We could go ahead and drive up to this one. See what it, what this one is all about. Uh, we have an abandoned car. Okay. So yeah, there's a bunch of upgrades part. So yeah, there's actually a bunch of upgrade parts. So let's go ahead and go to the one that's behind us. So we have to go uphill a little bit, which is okay. This truck can of course do it, and we also have plenty of fuel, so we don't have to worry about that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's really, really close to us. Yes, okay, still, like, giving me, uh, like, still giving me, like, notifications that we're getting new tasks, that we're unlocking new tasks. Okay, here we go. Now we should be on grass. We should be a little bit better. Yes. That's definitely an improvement. So hopefully it's an engine upgrade or a race suspension upgrade. That's what I'm also always hoping for, for any of our vehicles. Doesn't matter which one just for a vehicle that we have. Okay, so, ooh, we got an engine upgrade. Uh, for the Tega, okay. Interesting. So, I mean, that's kind of good. An engine block uh, resists for a more modern approach to engineering. Okay, so it's like a little bit of a more modern engine. Oh, crap, okay. Right, so yeah, it's just a normal, a normal modern engine that is put in, into the Tega and the upper trucks, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and drive to the next tower, which is going to be our second one. Second one of the day. Okay, so sort of not go... Okay, this looks terrible. Look at this mud. I'm gonna go so slow, slowly through here. I really have to get my Marshall back. I, like, I still miss it, and like... I kind of don't get it why, like, vehicles are disappearing from this game. Like, I have, I mean, I already told you guys what happened. My Marshall basically disappeared somehow. So, still a very sad moment. Come on, don't get stuck here. Okay, put, go backwards. There we go. And then go ahead and turn around this way. 
No, 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 no. Why? Oh, come on. We just flipped over. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, that's great. I mean, not really. It's not, not great at all. So that means we have to draw. So that we that means we have to go to the quarry and pick up another vehicle. Great. <laughs> this is just great. I mean, it's n actually not good at all. But I guess we're just gonna go back to the global map, go to the quarry, and I guess we're just gonna drive the Dan nine six three two zero. So yeah, we're just gonna travel back and uh, grab that truck <laughs> and go all the way back to uh, to the new map. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're back on the map with the Dan. So what I was thinking about doing is I guess we're just gonna drive with the Dan all the way to this very far watchtower. And I mean, we could go, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do first is make sure that I flip over the other DR. And then what we're gonna do is drive with, I mean, with this truck all the way to that watchtower that's all the way, I mean, all the way behind us, very far from us. So, yeah, anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and back up all the way to here. I mean, this is a very lightweight truck. I also have realized that. It's a very lightweight truck, which is good. And uh, it's definitely gonna do very well. I don't know if it has, I think it has all, all, all terrain tires or off road tires. I don't know what exactly. But by the looks of it, it has all terrain tires, which is also impressive. It doesn't have uh, any, any, anything, any nonsense, any of those off road or mud tires. At the same time, I'm not sure. So the problem is, yeah, the problem is with this truck is it always like kind of bottoms out a little bit because the front is like hanging a little bit. So it's definitely going to struggle a little bit on some parts. But we're going to see if we can kind of make our way through this very deep mud and try to get the yard out. And then see what we're going to do next because just the terrain is just incredibly really hard here. Def I mean, of course, to be expected, of course. So here we go. We made it out of that muddy, muddy water. And now we're going to be driving or following this. Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> it's already looking pretty terrible. Are we already stuck now? Come on. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm not really, I'm not really confident if this, this is going to be our vehicle that we're going to be driving. <laughs> too often because it already got stuck we cannot tell it already got stuck into this into this fairly I mean the motor wasn't that deep so I'm kind of surprised that it got stuck there okay uh, go 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 come on get yourself out there we go good job and we're gonna go up this hill and then our tr our uh, scout vehicle should be here Completely flipped over. Great. <laughs> oh, there it is. Man, I feel so bad for it. Like, I... Oh, man. I don't know if this is our first time that we ever flipped over, but it might be our second time. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if that was our first time ever flipping it. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach a winch to here. And flip, over, flip it over. Come on. No, 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 come on, flip over. Oh, man, I'm being so annoying. <laughs> uh, I can't even, I can't even flip over this thing. Okay, well, let me go backwards, I guess. It's not really working out. It really isn't. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to flip over the other side. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, there we go, I did it. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. And now what I can what I can do is stop the engine and change trucks. Is it still alive? Okay, it is. Perfect. But now it's stuck over here. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. I need a winch. I need a winch to pull my way out. Oh, all wheel drive's not activated. Duh. <laughs> that that's why maybe. Yeah. That's why. Look how dirty it is now. <laughs> After flipping it. Just kind of, yeah, I just kind of flipped over, managed to get it out. Okay. So now we're just gonna slowly make our way. Yeah, okay, let's well, let's, ju let's just keep it in a low range. I think that would be the best option. Now, uh, 
Okay, we're not going s faster. <laughs> Still going pretty slow. I don't really like that. I, I don't like really going slow. I mean, it's kind of a good thing, like if you want to like look around you and all that, but I just want to get stuff done. I just sit here and look at beautiful mother nature. <laughs> I could always do that. But not at this point. Okay, so we're going to check out this task over here. Uh, okay, here it is. A, seems like we have a, uh, a little scout vehicle. We're going to see what do we need to do here. So, abandoned, dr uh, abandoned car. A drunken local decided to go to drive into the uh, wilderness. He claims that he was uh, ab abducted by aliens. Okay. <laughs> what is this all about? Okay, so what do we have to do here? So I guess we just have to... Uh, yeah, we have to bring it all the way to the warehouse. Oh, that's actually really close to us. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But first, our number one objective is to... Okay, where are we? Okay, where are we supposed to go? Okay, <laughs> we need to back up. We're going the wrong way. We need to go this way. Here we go. Yeah, let me try to go a little more on grass. Okay, this way. Try to keep my side on the grass so I can move a little bit faster. Oh, tree! There you go. There goes the tree. <laughs> No, 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 don't flip over again. God damn it, you like to really flip over. Almost, li almost like the, the Asnov. That thing also likes to flip over quite a lot. That looks like the wash tower, or maybe not. No, 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 come on. You're so slow. Come on. <laughs> How fast are you going? You're going like two kilometers an hour, or two kilometers. About two kilometers. Okay, beautiful. There we go. That's what I like to see. A little bit more speed. Speed and confidence, or speed with confidence. Okay, uh, where are we going? Okay, we're still going this way. Uh, are we supposed to turn here? Okay, no, no. Just keep going forward. That's what we're going to be doing. Just keep going forward. Just keep going, keep going. Okay, come on. Keep going. <laughs> Tree, look out. And now... Yes, come on, go faster. We're almost there. I think you're, you're getting pretty close to asphalt. So you can drive a little faster. Yeah, this is much better. This is what I was looking for. Or maybe not. Still a little bit slow. There's the asphalt. Beautiful. Okay, so now we made it. Uh, so we have to go through here. Oh, there's a watchtower. Here it is. The second one. Which is discovered. Come on. Yes, there it is. And, okay, so launch observation. Oh, there's a lighthouse and a bunch of buildings, a bunch of really interesting buildings. Wow, okay, this is actually a pretty big place over here. So we have a trailer store, a bridge that has to be repaired, and a factory. Metal delivery. Damn, this place is massive. So the problem is we can't get across this bridge, because, of course, it's there's nothing <laughs> that's there. So, oh, also this is broken over here. That's great. So, I guess what we have to do is drive over here on this type of terrain and drive all the way to the last tower, which is going to be our only option. Okay, so go ahead and back up. And now we're going to have a pretty long journey behind us. Very long one to the last one. But at least we don't have to worry about anything else. So, yeah, I can just go ahead and take this route. Perfect. Okay. So, go. I'm gonna go ahead and explore this place. Oh, look at that. The Soviets... Oh, there it is. The sickle and the, and the hammer. Beautiful. Beautiful symbol. <laughs> still, some of its Russian remains are still there. And this very small 
mining town or factory town. Uh, so what do we need for this bridge? I bet a bunch of new bunch of materials. Uh, no, two concrete slabs. Oh, that's uh. Oh, we have to drive all the way to the quarry. That's kind of annoying. It's the only place that we're, where we can get uh, concrete slabs from. The only place. The only and the last place. Okay, it's also getting pretty dark. Getting, getting pretty dark. Okay, we're supposed to turn. Okay, over here. Here's the place. Oops, a little bit of bounce, a little bit of bouncing. Okay, there you go. You're going pretty fast. Fast enough, fast enough, I guess. No, come on. Here we go. Yeah, this might take a while. <laughs> here we go. We're again stuck. So hopefully we can get across here. So we're getting pretty close to our destination and I'm actually gonna see on the map. Uh, okay, so the tower is over here. So this means we have to go ahead and drive on this other path. So, okay. Uh, if, I'm not really sure if we can get a, take a shortcut and drive up this hill, but I'm not gonna do that. So, here we go. We're, ca we're getting some speed, so that's good. We're getting some speed. And, okay, go here. Beautiful, okay. So, oh, can I actually turn over? Okay, so we have to turn over here, which I'm gonna do, of course. And then we are finally gonna unlock the last watchtower. <laughs> the very last one. The very, very last one. It's actually, like, to be honest, guys, this took, like, this journey uh, is, like, taking us, like, taking about eight or ten minutes just to get here. It's just, I have to find a different vehicle. I have to, seriously have to find a different scout vehicle. This is just taking us too much time. I mean, it looks cool, but just, like, I mean, it does the work, and it, it looks cool, but it's just slow. That's the problem with it. But, I mean, it's okay. At least if we're on land, that we're going pretty slow, uh, pretty fast. Like right now. That's not bad. And then we have to turn over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, okay, go over here. Yes. Here it is, guys. We did it. The last tower is discovered on Z Zim Groshk, whatever the name is. Wow, it's so dark. You can't see even my. You can't, you can't even see my truck. Okay, so nothing too interesting. Ooh. Oh. What do we have here? Okay. Oh, okay. I know. Okay, this is actually very. I mean, a very good truck. The Tusk 420. I like the. I like the numbers. 420. <laughs> so that's going to be a very interesting vehicle that we're definitely gonna uh, try to get out. But for now, uh, so yeah, we have basically discovered everything, which I'm really happy about, except this over here, but that's not bad, it's just, just the water. So now, uh, what we're going to be doing is traveling to the Dan, because I want to see if I can get that abandoned car to the warehouse or the place. So let me go ahead and see, uh, abandoned car. So yeah, we have to get it to the warehouse, uh, which should be easy. I mean, this should be I guess, maybe. <laughs> so, I'm also gonna definitely change the weather, because it's incredibly dark. At least we're gonna see our surroundings a little bit better. Okay, here we go. So, hopefully you're not gonna struggle too much, Dan. Or the Dan. Yeah, you're definitely struggling. Let's put you in low range. See if that's maybe a little better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Seems like you're liking it a little bit. Or liking it a little bit. Oh, not at all. Maybe not. <laughs> Still sinking me pretty... Like, I seriously have to also find some race suspension for you. Uh, are there any trees that I can attach myself into? Uh, this one. Yeah, there you go. It's working. It's working. It's indeed working. Okay. Just a little bit of, of here. Just a little bit of pulling and using the power using the gas. Okay, there you go. Back to normal. So this vehicle is going to be up this hill. Yeah, I have a feeling that it has all-terrain all tires because it gets, I mean, gets 
quite a lot stuck everywhere, so those could be all terrain tires. So I might also have to consider buying some off-road tires for this vehicle. But not for now. Not going to be for today. Or another time. I just have to first have to save up some money for some other stuff. Because I also want to... Uh... Oh, actually we didn't get any damage from that. That's impressive. They're strong. We didn't get any damage. Okay, so... Uh, turn around. And here it is. Here it is. Poor abandoned truck. That has been abandoned by a drunk guy and saw he saw some aliens. Accordingly. I mean he was saying something about aliens. Okay, so we're gonna attach you to here. And now uh, what we have to do is sort of turn around. Oh, they, even the engine works. Sorry, I'm gonna damage your truck a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. Sorry man, sorry. This is the only way that I can get it out. Oh wow, you're doing terrible. Come on. Here we go. That's a little better. Okay. Let's wait. Okay. Turn, turn, turn. You should maybe turn. That's a little better. That's, yeah, it's definitely a little better. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Okay, whoop de doo I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not really meant to do that. I just completely wrecked that vehicle. I'm sorry. Oh man, I'm not doing there. I'm, I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm today. I'm not doing great. Today, I'm doing very terrible. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just destroying this poor guy's uh, only transportation. This whole, this whole place. I mean, he could have a scooter or a bicycle or whatever, but still, this is our own, his only transportation. That he can go off road with. I mean, with a bike and with a I mean, with a bike and, or a motorbike. I'm not really sure if he can off road that. Except maybe with a normal bike he could. But it would have been difficult, definitely. Okay, we're also pretty. We're fairly stuck in here. So let's see if I can pull my way a little bit out. Low range. Low range. And then. Okay, that's a little better. Now what I'm gonna do is attach you back to here. Okay, here we go. Getting closer and closer to the warehouse. Go ahead and pull you out. Okay, I'm sorry. Even destroy. I'm even like flooding the engine because of all the water. Okay. Now turn this way. It's not really wor working that out. Maybe it is. A little bit. And then turn to here. Sharp turn. Okay, good, 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 good. Come on, you're doing good. Don't get stuck. Oh, come on, you just have to get stuck. Oh, man, you poor thing. Such a poor thing. Okay, and now again, attach. I'm not gonna attach you again. For the third time. Okay, come on, go down this hill. Let's see if I can get on the grass a little bit. Yes. And full speed. Oh. Yes, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's get on the grass a little bit. Get some speed. And now back on dirt. Okay, so there. Okay, where are we going? Are we going the right way? Okay, we are. I think we're supposed to go this way. Oh, no, 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 no. We have to go this way. No, oh, come on. That's, that's some deep water. Some very, very deep water. I'm curious if you can actually add a garage to here, because I have heard that you can, I mean, there's no garage at the moment here, but I think what we can, I mean, there should be a, uh, a contract or something where we have to build a garage over here, and then we can, like, tr like, basically, like, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. We basically don't have a garage, and we need one, but we just have to build one at the moment, so there's nothing here, nothing. There's only a bunch of like big factories and all that. And that's about it. 
Okay, there we go. We're on the road. Now we can go ahead and speed up a little bit. Just a little bit. A little, little bit. And there's the garage. Or uh, the place. The warehouse. There it is. That's what I was trying to say. In the warehouse. Oh, here we turn. Oh, there's an abandoned building. Uh, abandoned car. Okay, back up. One more time. Oh yeah, there it is. I think yeah, I think that's a garage that we have to rebuild. By the looks of it. Here it is. Yeah. Oh my. No. Okay, poor. Oh my God. I'm. <laughs> I'm destroying everything. Oh. oh. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I just flipped over the thing again. Okay, I'm just gonna pull you. I don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and pull you just towards here. Here we go. Job done. <laughs> okay. Aliens. Honestly, doesn't he expect uh, me to buy th buy that? If he loses his car again, he's on his uh, on his own. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same. I would have done the same thing. So, okay. Um, how about we go ahead and end off this video right here in the warehouse place? I mean, it still looks pretty empty. There's still a bunch of buildings that we ha that we have to build over here, but still. I think this is going to be a perfect place to end off this video. So, if you cannot tell, we have explored all of Zim Zimnagrosh. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying the name again wrong. And we also delivered a abandoned vehicle all the way to here, which was like completely wrecked because we crashed crashed it too many times to, into like stuff and made it drown a little bit. So, still guys, hopefully you guys still have, have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.